because without either of those, I couldn't have been born. Also, the carrot nose, because without it, I wouldn't be able to smell. <laughs> but that's enough about me. I wanted to share a story with you about a few friends who had a pretty eventful Thanksgiving. You see, Gary was staying at Rosie's house the night before Thanksgiving. But unfortunately, their automated chef, Rikibot, blew up their turkey. So Rosie asked Gary to run to the store to get a new one. But that's where the story gets even crazier. Okay. Where are the turkeys? I can't believe Rikibot burnt our turkey. How do you even do that? He's a robot. Let's see. I guess it'd be in frozen foods. Plant? So. Huh. Hey, Gary. Wait. How's it going? Yeah. Hey, Scoop. Not great. Rosie sent me over to get a turkey. Oh, no. Didn't she buy a turkey already? Yes. But it caught on fire when our Wikibot tried to deep fry it, so we need another one. Oh, that's too bad. You're probably not going to find any. Most of the stores sold out a couple days ago. That's what we were afraid of. I don't know what I'm going to do. Rosie will be crushed. Oh, say, I have a cousin who sells turkeys. He lives just outside of town. He might have a few. Oh, do you think he'd sell me one? It's worth a try. I can show you how to get to his farm. Well, that sounds like a plan. And so, Gary and Scoot started driving out of town in, Car in Gary's car. Well, I just got off the phone with my cousin, and he says he still has turkey a turkey he can sell you. That's great. Tell him we can be there in, in a few minutes. Say, do you have any plans for Thanksgiving? If not, you're welcome to join us. Are you sure? I don't want to be a bother. You won't be a bother at all. I'm Leo. sure Rosie won't mind after all of your help with getting a turkey. Leo. Hey, I'm Gary. I'm here with Scoot. We're here to pick up the turkey. Alright, we have the first darky. He's in the country. Just follow me. Okay. Over here. Hey, Scoot. Hey, Dave. Okay, so where's the turkey? You're kidding, right? He's right there. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. Wait. Well, that turkey is, um, still alive. I was hoping for a frozen turkey. We don't have frozen turkeys. Only alive ones. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's not even how farms work, Gary. Sheesh. But... And this is my last one. <sighs> Alright. We'll take it. Gary, I don't understand what your problem is. We found a turkey. Yeah, but it's still alive. I don't know how to kill and clean a turkey. Do you know how to do that? Well, no. So, how is Rosie supposed to cook him while he's still alive? Not only that, he's wearing a cute pilgrim's hat. Well, geez, we could take him to a butcher. 
I know someone. No, I'm just taking him to the supermarket. Maybe they'll process him for us. Kirby, pull over at the next supermarket so we can get this done. All right, this looks like a good place. I'm gonna go talk to someone in the meat department. You guys stay here. Wait, Gary. Gobble, gobble. Play. Gobble, play, play, play. Gary! Well, what are we going to do with Tom? 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 You mean that you named him? I don't know, but I've always already wasted enough money on him. Wait a minute. Did you grab the keys when you hopped out? Um, no. That turkey is stealing my car. Maybe you can call someone and ask them to pick us up. No, I can't. I left my phone in the car. Wait, where's Kirby? We left him. We left him in the car. Oh no! It's been five hours. What's keeping them so long? Gobble. Gary, who's this? Woo, woo, woo. Kirby, what the heck in tarnation? What are you doing? Why is there a turkey in the car? Gobble, gobble. Gobble. So, Gary and Scoot found themselves in quite a pickle. The turkey had left them stranded at the supermarket with no way of getting back to Rosie's house. And Kirby had agreed on leaving his friends behind. What a betrayal. The end. Wait, there's more? Oh no, we've ruined Thanksgiving. Hey, isn't that your car? I think it is. It's a Thanksgiving miracle. The turkey and Kirby had returned with a stack of piping hot pizzas they, have, they had picked up from the pizzeria down the street. Gary was so thrilled to have his car back, he didn't, he didn't even think to ask how they were able to pay for all of them. No sense in spoiling the surprise. I thought this was the end, but here is the true end. Hey Rosie, sorry we didn't get the turkey. We did bring home some pizzas. That's okay. I'm just glad that you're safe. Wait a minute. What about the turkey? I, I just told you about the turkey. Wait, how do you know that we had to take a turkey? Because of Kirby. We were in a car. In the car. Kirby, you had to blow our cover? Gobble, gobble. What are you saying? He's saying that the turkey is his new pal. Fine. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I guess I should be thankful you're all okay. And so they gathered around the table and had a great Thanksgiving dinner. For they had learned the true spirit of Thanksgiving is not the food that you serve, but the people that you're with. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone!